Recently, we used a 3D printer to make a replacement part that I didn't think would be possible to print. It was possible thanks to some amazing material properties that are unique to this type of filament. The filament is TPU, short for thermoplastic polyurethane. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of its unique characteristics and put it to the test to see just how tough it really is. I don't know if I should be standing here actually. Here are two different reasons why we really like using TPU. Number one, it's flexible. And you can control how flexible your part is by changing the part geometry or changing the wall thickness and infill percentage. Sometimes it's nice to have a part that isn't 100% rigid. Reason number two, it has a high impact strength and it's super tough. It can handle an impact and it can stretch a surprising amount before failing. Here are a few parts that we've made from TPU recently. We've been making one-off parts to help organize our shop, but TPU is also used commercially to make all sorts of products, including phone cases, watch bands, flexible straps, rubber wraps, and shoe soles. We also printed this completely solid cylinder to do a compression test. Okay, so it wasn't completely solid. This rivet gun came with that white plastic catch tube on the back that would catch all the mandrels after you were done riveting. The problem is it had a big slot in it, so any time I would tilt the rivet gun, I would accidentally drain all the mandrels onto the floor, making a big mess. So we designed and printed a replacement catch with a removable cap. I think that'll work. We don't really have the equipment to do a stretch to failure test, but we really wanted to see how this material behaved under tension, so we used the equipment we already have in our shop and set up a test to see how tough our printed parts are. Alright, set the pounds, moment of truth. Let's see how much this stretches and how tough it is before it breaks. Up to about a hundred pounds right now. I don't know if I should be standing here actually. We might uh, have to switch the camera angle and film where I'm not standing right next to it. Hey guys, Jake was right. He predicted it would tear through here. I thought it would fail down here somewhere. 